The spring 2021 real estate market is hot, but what if you have a house that's not perfect? For example, let's say you have terrible carpet or a scratched up hardwood floor. Something with your flooring is imperfect and you wonder, should I fix this before I sell it? Can I sell it like it is? Maybe I should offer a carpet allowance. Let's talk about those options. First of all, if you're expecting a premium price and your house is not in premium condition, the market is probably going to tell you very quickly that it's not going to work. For example, when I work with buyers and we go into a house that has bad carpet, it's really old or it's stained and dirty, or maybe a pet has ruined it, or it's just coming up at the seams. Every buyer thinks, oh my God, that is going to cost $10,000 at least. Now it might cost $10,000. If you put in some primo carpet, it might only cost $3,000. But that buyer thinks it's going to be the end of the world if they have to do this themselves. So they're going to want a discount in the price, or they are going to want you to do it for them before it closes, or they're going to want a check at closing for $10,000. Now you could offer a flooring allowance, a carpet allowance. We see that all the time on HGTV. So it must be true, right? Wrong. First of all, allowances are really tricky because of the perception of value. So you say, I'll give you $3,000 allowance and you can do whatever you want with the floor. The buyer still thinks it's going to cost them $10,000. So they want the difference made up either in the price or some other way. You might consider crediting that allowance in the price of the house or toward their closing costs, but the buyer is actually going to need that money cash in hand to make the replacement themselves. And if you give them a check at closing, so they have the cash in hand, you have to make sure the lender is okay with it because otherwise it might be considered mortgage fraud. <laughs> and so maybe the lender says, no, you can't write a check to the buyer. So you could write a check to the contractor who's going to replace the carpet or refinish the wood floors. And then you have to hope that the contractor doesn't cut and run with the money. So there's a lot of work involved in an allowance, making it an imperfect scenario. So you probably shouldn't believe everything that you see on TV because it doesn't necessarily work out that way in real life. On the flip side, you could sell the house in as is condition. You could try to sell it for a premium price. And if it doesn't work at the premium price, you can do a discount in the price and then be done with it. You could replace the carpet or have the wood floors refinished before you put it on market or promise to do it before closing. And maybe you time it for very close to closing so that you can pay them out of your proceeds. That's another option. A lot of places have um, interest-free financing where you could maybe uh, get the carpet on credit and then pay that off out of the proceeds of your house when the house closes. There are other options, but a carpet allowance or a flooring allowance is probably not the best solution. It seems like a great idea. But the reality is, even though you see it on reality TV, it doesn't work in the real world. So if you're thinking about selling your house in the Des Moines area, I've actually got a guide called the ultimate guide to selling your house in Des Moines. And it has lots of tips that are going to help you prepare your house for sale and understand the overall process and what you're getting yourself into by putting your house on the market. There is a link below this video or beside the video, somewhere around this video, there is a link that you can download that guide. I'm Heather Wright. Thanks a lot for watching.